Hello and welcome back to Omniscient Academy. In this video, we're going to talk about segmentation, a topic that is way too often overlooked while its impact is actually huge. In fact, based on real customer data, using segmentation increases email campaign open rates by 110%, click rates by 52%, and conversion rates by 62%, on average compared to non-segmented campaigns. So in other words, it's very, very important. And on top of that, it's especially impactful during your first couple of weeks of sending. That's when your sender's reputation is determined. It's something that inbox services like Gmail track internally, but what's important for you to know is that it greatly depends on the engagement rates of your campaigns in the first one to two weeks. So by using segmentation, you're going to see better engagement rates, which is going to lead to a solid sender's reputation, which leads to better deliverability and inbox placement of all of your future emails. Do you see how important it is now? Okay, let's get right into it. To give you an easier start, we've pre-built some of the most essential segments for you. You can find them in the Suggestions tab and create them in your account with just one click. Let's start with the Active Email Subscribers segment, which is commonly used for newsletters. The bottom half of the page here gets populated with the contacts that match the selected rules, and the rules can be found near the top. Every rule is, in other words, a filter, and in between each one of them, you're going to find an AND or OR selection. This determines whether contacts need to fulfill both rules, as with AND, or either one of them, as with OR, to appear in the segment. Knowing that, we can easily understand that this segment is of contacts who are subscribed to your email channel, and have either opened at least one email campaign within the last 90 days or opted into the email channel within the last 30. Once again, a perfect segment for your email newsletters. Let's go back to the suggestions and create another one, the most engaged email subscribers segment. As you can tell from the selected rules, this one is a bit more strict. It's going to have less contacts, but those contacts are going to be the most engaged with your messages. That's why it's a great segment to get started with in your first couple of days of sending. And the last one that we're going to grab from the suggestions is the inactive email subscribers segment. You're going to use it to keep your contact list clean and healthy going forward by opening it ideally once every six months and unsubscribing all of the contacts that you see here. Now I know that getting rid of contacts is difficult, but just do it. It's going to protect your sender's reputation and save you money, so it's worth it. By the way, don't worry if you don't see any contacts here yet. Our segments update automatically and continuously, so even if you're starting from scratch with no contacts at all, it's still a great idea to create these essentials as they will fill up over time. Finally now, let's go ahead and create a couple of segments manually for some powerful e-commerce tailored targeting. The first one is going to be a segment of recent buyers. Let's start with email channel status is subscribed. You want to start most of your segments with this one just to be safe and to make sure that you don't send to any unsubscribed contacts. And the second rule that is going to open up a lot of amazing targeting opportunities is placed order. For this segment, as I said, we're doing recent buyers, so let's leave it at order date is in the last 30, 60, or 90 days. Experiment and see which works best for your business. It's very self-explanatory that these customers, since they've recently bought from you, are going to be highly receptive to your marketing. So once again, a great segment for your first couple of days of sending. And on top of that, these people will always love to see recommendations of more of your great products and will appreciate a discount for their next order as well. For the second segment, we're going to change the filter from order date to either number of orders placed or total spent. These people who have either bought from you more than three or four times or have spent more than a certain amount in your store are your most loyal customers and you want to treat them accordingly. Send them specialized discounts, sneak peeks into new upcoming releases and maybe even a separate VIP newsletter every now and then. Make them feel special and they will come back and buy from you again. Now these are just five easy and quick ideas for segmentation. Obviously there's so much more that you can do with it, so I encourage you to explore and experiment yourself. And to wrap up this video, let's look at how to actually use these for your campaigns. It's very simple, you're just going to select the segments that you want to send to, so if you're sending a VIP newsletter, select your VIP list. If you're sending a cross-sell to recent buyers, select recent buyers. You get the point, very self-explanatory. 
And don't forget about the importance of engagement rates in your first few days. A good plan is to not blast your entire audience with emails every day, but instead to start with, for example, your VIP list first, then add in the most engaged subscribers after a couple of cents, recent buyers as well after a few more, and then the rest of your active contacts after that. In other words, start with a narrowed down audience and then add in more and more people over time. This way, you will set yourself up for a successful sending right away.